Time for a little Jeep demolition. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. It's time for a little Jeep demolition. Well, at least a little part removal. You know, there is a mod that my wife has been after me to do on her Jeep JL uh, for quite a while now. And it's kind of my fault, I suppose, because I did it to mine. She saw it, got a little jealous, and decided she wanted me to do this to her Jeep. What I'm talking about, of course, are painted tow hooks you can see right there she has a single tow hook on the back of her jeep now she did ask me about putting a second one on and i didn't really see a, a good easy way to do that um because the exhaust is in the way over here you guys can see the pipe sticking down right over there this is where the tow hook is right now from the from the factory right so what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull that thing off. It looks like there are just two bolts, two massive bolts, um, to be able to pull that thing off so that I can paint it. So let's go ahead, I'll set you up. We'll get that thing off, I hope. And then I'll show you what color I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna paint it and, uh, and then what it's gonna look like. Okay, this should be pretty easy to do, assuming those uh, bolts come out fairly easily. All you need uh, is a ratchet, and I've got the man ratchet here. This is my bigger one. And then a 13 16 socket. I am gonna try to use an impact um, to try to loosen that thing up. It makes it much easier if this thing has enough oomph. And I think it will, we're gonna find out. And by the way, if anybody's interested in this, it is a DeWalt, what is it, 20 volt max. A uh, few people have asked me what impact driver or, or ratchet, whatever you want to call it, I use. I call it an impact. Uh, this is it, DeWalt. Always had good luck with it, and it's always been powerful enough, at least for everything else that I've done. So let's, uh, let's see if it works. Uh, the bolts, of course, are right here. You've got one here, it looks like, and one here. Should be able to just pull those things off. And... Uh, and be able to remove this little tow hook. So let's see how easy it is. Well, that's not working. So we're gonna need a little muscle, I guess. Okay, broke that one loose. Man, they got these things on there tight. Wow. Okay, now I think I can use the ratchet. So the impact was not strong enough to break that loose. Um, had to do it myself. So now we should be able to use this, I think. Let's find out. Wow, look at that thing. <laughs> I guess that's why it's a, a good recovery point. Ooh. Well, it didn't seem to come loose. Oh, there's more to it under here. A couple of bolts actually up here on the sides. Wow, they've got this thing. Let me show you guys. If you look right up here, uh, there are two more bolts holding this thing on. Wow. They weren't messing around when they did the when they did this. Jeez. So I'm gonna see if I can break those loose, uh, and then uh, maybe we'll be able to pull this thing off. Now I'm not sure. I don't know if I can get enough leverage in there uh, without pulling the bumper off, and I really don't want to do that. So let's let's see. Okay, well, I can fit the tool under there, and I should be able to get enough leverage, I think. So, let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. Try this other one.
That's it. We got her loose. I'll be darned. Two more giant bolts. These might be a little overkill. I don't know, but whatever. It's what they are. And here's what it looks like uh, off the Jeep. Um, of course, it goes on like this. Um, wow. What a pain. I don't know. I guess if you're going to pull the whole weight of the Jeep, uh, you might need something a little more substantial. I don't know. So we've got it off. Hopefully I can get it back on. And now we got to go prep it to paint it. Had to change shirts. Getting rather warm out here. Anyway, got it all set up. Again, here's the hook. Um, what I usually do, need to rough it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to use just an 80 grit sandpaper. Um, doing that, of course, to give the paint something to adhere to. Um, so we put some little scratches and nicks and stuff in it. Um, and then I'll wipe it down with uh, some rubbing alcohol, kind of to clean everything off of it. Uh, the grease and oil from my hand and that kind of stuff, just to give the paint the best chance to stick. And then I told you I would let you know what color I'm going with. Well, she wanted the same color as the Jeep. And the closest I found, and I think it's pretty close, is this Rust-Oleum Husqvarna Orange from Farm and Implement. Uh, there you go. That's what it is. It's what I used on the hooks on the front of the truck, and I think it's really, really close uh, to the pumpkin orange on her Jeep. So I'm going to go ahead, get this thing roughed up, get the uh, oil and stuff wiped off with the rubbing alcohol, then we'll set you guys up, and I'll show you how I paint it. Really pretty simple. I got it all set up to paint there on my little makeshift tripod hanger there. Um, just going to take it outside, hit it with some paint, and uh, probably about five or six coats, something like that. This part up here where I know some of you are going to say, well, you got the wire touching the part. Not a big deal because this is hidden up underneath the truck. You're never going to see anything from about right here up anyway. So it should be okay. a mask. Finally, we've got the tow hook back here all cured up. You guys can see right here. Um, it's actually sat for about a week, I'd say. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was good and cured, hardened, before I messed with it and put it on. Now, the fortunate thing about this is you can't see a lot. All you can really see is this area here and down. So it's not like uh, if there were any imperfections from putting it on, you'd be able to see it anyway. But we're going to get underneath the Jeep, go ahead, put this on, and we'll show you what it looks like finished. We've got four bolts, again, remember, one here, one here, and then two up here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the ones on the bottom, I think, because uh, that's going to be easiest for me. So let's go ahead and get a couple in here to get it situated. Okay, got it all done. Not really complicated to do, just four bolts. Uh, let's take a look here. There you go. Nice and orange. Pretty close to the pumpkin orange, I think. Uh, there's the color, in case anybody's interested. It's just a Rust-Oleum Husqvarna orange. And I think it actually matches really well. Uh, I do like the look of it better on the back. I think it's just one of those little accents um, that kind of pops out a bit. Uh, you can see over here on the front, uh, we do have the Husqvarna orange hooks up here too. So kind of ties the whole thing together, I think. Um, it is the same color, by the way, in the front is what we have here in the back. So anyway, just uh, wasn't that quick. It actually took about a week, week and a half to do the whole thing because of paint drying. Uh, but just a quick little mod to kind of 
dress it up a little bit more, and make the wife happy. She wanted this done. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive, all about my 2020 Toyota Tacoma back there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.